Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to export or upload data from Excel to Google Sheets. And for that we're going to use this small table. And there are several ways to do it. We're going to do it through a Google form. Another possibility would be using the Google Sheets API, but that's a bit more complicated. So we're going to need a recipient worksheet. So I'm going to create a new Google Sheets, or you can use an existing Sheets. And and we're going to link a Google form to this Google spreadsheet. As you see, it has created a new tab for form responses. We can rename that to data, for example. By default, it has a column for the timestamp. This column cannot be removed, but we can hide it. And then we can go to edit the form and add those three fields. So we're going to have a text field with a short answer, that's for the name. Then we will have another short field or short answer for the country. And then we're going to have a number for the ID. And that could also be a short answer. You can choose any of the other options depending on the data. After adding the fields in the form, it has updated the headers here. Not for this one, so I'm going to put here name. And we cannot delete the column for the timestamp. It must be there. But we can hide it. We can also change the name of, of the spreadsheet. Let's say that's members. So we're going to have the name, the country, and the ID of each member. And the same for the... For the form, we can say members form. And also here, members form. Now we need to get the form URL. Let's check how that looks like. So that's the form. And we're going to need the form response URL along with the keys for each of the entries, so for name, country, and ID. To get that, we press F12 and go to Network. We can reload the form. And if we submit the form, just let's leave it empty as a test. We get up here the form response URL, so that's one of the things we're going to need. So I'm going to copy that one and, and paste it here for now. And if we look here up at the post, at the first post, which says form response, let me make it bigger. So this one that says form response, and we look at the request, we're going to see the entry IDs for the three fields, so the name, the country, and the ID. And of course, the, the fields are empty because we didn't fill anything, but what we need are these entry IDs. So I'm going to... So I'm just going to copy all also here. And we don't need that. We have the three... Um, entry IDs for each of the fields. That's what we need in our macro. So now let's go back to the Excel file and go to the Visual Basic Editor. And here we're going to have the macro upload to Google Sheets. And first of all, we need to add the Microsoft XML library. So we go to Tools, References, And down here we have Microsoft XML 6.0. We click OK. And that's because we're going to send a HTTP request in the same way we've done in some previous videos to get data from either from a website or from Google Sheets or from an API. So now instead of getting the data, we are going to post the data into Google Sheets through the Google form. And the URL we're going to use in this case is going to be, so let's declare URL as a string. And that URL is going to be the Google Form Response URL that we have saved here earlier.
and let me continue in the next line and make this a bit bigger we're gonna add each of the entries and for that we need to have IFQ and the entry ID for each of the fields so what we've saved earlier here we close here and the value of that field which is the name but let's call it field 1 and we'll get back to that to add the name there and we open again the quotes to add the second entry so and the entry closing quotes field 2 And then the third entry and well we would add as many entries as we have in the data set and which are which must be the corresponding entries in the Google form of course so that's and entry and field 3 so that would be our URL and the field 1, field 2, and field 3 correspond to the three fields in our data set, in our table. So the name, the country, and the ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a loop to get the data for each row. And for each row, we will submit a HTTP request to post that data through the Google form. So to do that, we're going to have here uh, four, let's say, R for row equals two. We're going to start in row two to skip the headers. Two, and in this case, we only have two, three, and four. But otherwise, you can put here the last row with data. And then we will have the next R. So the fields are going to be field one is going to be range a and r dot value field two so i'm just copy pasting that field two is going to be column b and field three is going to be column three column column c which is the ID. And now that we have the data and the URL, we can send the HTTP request, but for that we need to first declare HTTP request, for example, as a new Microsoft XML 2.server XML HTTP. And now inside of the loop, for every row with data, we're going to say with HTTP request dot open a post request. So we're going to post a request to the URL and asynchronous set to false. And the next thing we need to do here is to set the response header. So I'm going to just copy paste this code to set the request header specifying the content type as this here and finally we can send the request and end the with statement here so let's run it and see how it works i'm gonna put from two to two so only for row two as a test and if we run it it should have added row two to the spreadsheet and if we go back to the spreadsheet we see there is a form response just at this time but it's empty so something something went wrong and that's because I forgot to add the equal sign so this the correct URL has an equal after the entry ID for all three so equal equal and equal 
this byte we have here two dots in the macro we need to put the equal sign so so the URL is built with the equal sign so if we if we run the macro now and go back to to the spreadsheet now we see we have our entry and if we want to upload all the data from 2 to 4 run the macro it's gonna go three times and upload each entry through the Google form so that's how we upload or export data from Excel to Google Sheets through a Google form linked to the Google spreadsheet and that's how we do it in Excel using VVA macros thanks for watching